Hello, and welcome to your new Stanhope CETA H2S Analyzer SA4000-4. Please note, this video is for demonstration purposes only. Tests should be carried out in a laboratory environment and according to health and safety regulations. Turn on the H2S using the power button at the rear of the instrument. After a few moments, the home screen will appear. To enter the operator ID, press the operator field, which automatically displays a touch keypad. For the sample ID, enter the details in the same way. Select a desired test profile or method for the sample being run. Press the green play button to proceed. Follow the on-screen instructions. When installing a new cartridge, ensure that it is dropped into place and not pushed into the lid. Replace the lid and tighten. Insert a clean test vessel and connect the inlet tubing as shown. Fill the test vessel with diluent to the 20 milliliter line using either the video display or the front viewing window. It is recommended to use a syringe to avoid spillage. Replace the lid and ensure it is tightened firmly, then press next. Depending on the method selected, the instrument will stabilize the temperature as required. A sample cannot be added until all the countdowns have reached zero. Prepare the sample in accordance with the method being run. Draw the required volume of sample into a syringe. Weigh the sample to at least three decimal places. If the balance is not connected to the instrument, enter the details manually. Carefully remove the test vessel cap and add approximately five milliliters of sample in accordance with the method instructions. Once the sample has been added, reweigh the syringe. Manually input the mass when necessary. Ensure the test vessel cap is tightly secured and press the green play button to start the test. For the first three minutes, the instrument self-purges with air and checks flow rates. At this point, no air bubbles can be seen in the test vessel. At the three minute mark, air will begin to bubble through the test vessel and the graph will display the H2S content along with a test timer and live test values. At the end of the test, the pressure is released from the system and the results are then displayed. Recorded data can be exported in a range of formats. For further information, please contact Stanhope CETA.